Greetings, my hatchlings. I return to you with yet another cosplay video, another latex cosplay video, I should say. So yeah, and um, today I am cosplaying basically as Asuka Langley from the anime Neon Genesis Evangelion. The original, like anime, you know, of course, that like a lot of us nerds have seen. Really one of the best animes out there. Um, but yeah, I uh, wanted to show off the suit because it's like the first time trying it on uh, that I got from Etsy. Like I said, that same Etsy um, latex person on, on yeah, MM Latex on Etsy. Um, yeah, I custom ordered this suit from her back in like, I believe it was December, and I got it in January, or I think I ordered it in January, but I got it like just a few weeks ago. And um, I don't know if I posted about like, before I lubed it up, I took like a picture of it real quick, but maybe I forgot to post it, I don't know. But yeah, um, so here I am, I am wearing the suit. I feel amazing. And it's actually been a while. Um, I. Since I've, I haven't even tried it on yet, this is like my first day of wearing it, so I'm like super excited because I was just like rushing and like looping up the whole inside and like hurrying up. Just like I have to hurry before it gets too dark now because um, whenever it comes to me like cosplaying now these days because it gets really dark where I'm at, like really early, I have to hurry up and I only have like an hour to film like my, my suit and like it's dark right now actually. It's like, well it was, it gets dark at about like 6 o'clock, so... And I sleep in pretty late these days. I actually only got up at just at 3. So I was like, I have to hurry. Because the weather was actually pretty decent out today. It was like 50 degrees or something. So I was like, oh, perfect. I can do a cosplay in my latex and not freeze too much. I still froze, but, you know, worth it. Anyway. So yeah, anyway. Um, really excited. Sorry when I get really excited. I just, I talk a lot. And I talk pretty fast. And I'm just like, yeah, I want to show you guys. And I'm just ecstatic and stuff. So yeah. Um... Just really excited to wear my suit. It looks amazing, as you can see the detail. Um, I'll um, upload like a better video of like my suit when um, uh, later on my channel because like I just went outside and took like a quick like model video, so just modeling the suit, doing Oscar poses and stuff. But yeah, uh, here it is so far. It looks super shiny. And yes, I used Vivid Shine to shine this time. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, mentioned like uh, lubes I can get, but I, I use Vivid Shine to shine this. I already know. I, I did my research. But still, thank you for your suggestions. Um, I used kind of like a silicone lube before this, and it just didn't give me the shine I wanted. And the shine wouldn't stay. It would, like, dry. But Vivashine's amazing. As you can see, it's, like, super wet and, like, glossy, which is what you want to look like. And it looks really pretty and, like, sexy and, like, elegant and stuff. And, yeah. I just actually ran out of lube to, like, put it on, too. And I was like, oh, thank goodness I, like, had a little packet of, like, high-quality, like, lube to, like, line the suit with. I just, like squirted it everywhere and like rubbed it in and then I used a um I think Swiss Army like lube to like put on my actual body and I just still feel like all squishy inside of the suit like squishy but yeah um that's what I am just squishy and wet all the time just sticky and I smell like balloons and I'm staticky so like sorry if like in this video like my hair um isn't orange and like like Oscars are red because um, I don't have a wig yet but I do plan on getting one I know a lot of you guys are really picky and stuff about your cosplays and you like it to be exactly like it. I do too. I am a perfectionist. I try my best though. Um, but yeah, uh, a wig is coming in the future. Hopefully I want to get like a high quality red colored one more so than like orange. I don't know, I just think that those orange like fake wigs look just kind of gross looking. I don't know. I prefer like a natural looking wig, like a red, like auburn color or something. So you're just gonna have to deal with like my blondish, um, my blonde tone, like dark blonde to like lighter blonde <laughs> hair color because I do have a balayage. But anyway, I thought the blonde kind of went with her, because sometimes there's some pictures of her that she looks blonde. So, I thought I would just do that. But yeah, um, here I am in the suit. As a matter of fact, in the anime, if you, a lot of you have seen, um, if you haven't, then this is, happens. Um, Asuka's suit is, like, really convenient, because she just puts it on, it's all super baggy. She gets comfortable, and then she presses, like, her button, like, right here, and, like, it suctions to her body. And I'm like, oh, I wish Latex did that, because... It's really hard putting this suit on. Like, I was struggling. I, I squirted lube, like, all over me. I was, like, rubbing it. There was, it, I coated the inside of my suit, even, like I said, and it's still even hard to put on. And there's shoulder zippers in this one. Those are easier to put on, I think. Um, but yeah, it's just, sleeves are really hard for me in general to put on. That's the hardest part for me. Um, but yeah, I love full cat suits that are latex. Just, I need them. They're the only ones I'll buy, really. Um, but yeah, this suit costs, like, once again, a pretty penny. This one cost like 500 I think. I don't remember exactly. It was, it was about 500 And custom made measurements of the colors, you know, like where I picked out and stuff. Like I was like, oh, red, metallic green, metallic blue. Oh yeah. I'll go over the colors. So this is just red. 
metallic green, which is perfect. It kind of like looks like Samus's visor and stuff. Like, I think that's really cool. Metallic blue, because it's cool looking, looks like metal. Silver, I think. Black, red, just orange, you know. Just simple latex colors, but a couple metallic. Um, but yeah, um, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, whoa, you're being Asuka, like, this isn't Metroid, you know, what are you doing? We're Samus, I know. I'm Asuka today, not Samus, but I still love her. Samus is my main, that's my main cosplay, you know, I love her to death. She'd always be my number one cosplay girl. But yeah, um, just, yeah, just feeling really cool. Um, but yeah, like, like I said, like, my, my channel, my username is Clavis Never Master. It's just something I made up for me, myself, as Ginger, like, I always wanted to be, like, well-known on social media as, like, a YouTuber, gamer, um, cosplayer especially, so that's just a universal name I gave myself. Not, like, I could have called myself, like, the Metroid Master, or, like, Samus Aran Clone, or Samus Girl 69, or whatever, I don't know, like, Game Girl, I don't know, but I prefer to, like, have something more creative, something that matches me, um, so yeah. So if any of you guys are out there like shocked that I'm not Samus, it's okay. I still love her. She's still my girl. But this is like my one of my favorite anime characters to be. And let's be honest, Asuka's a very common like latex cosplay. She's like one of the top ones people do, which is pretty cool. She's awesome. I like her personality. Um, I started watching Evangelium when I was like really young. Because that anime is from like the 90s or 80s or something. And like it's really cool. I love the art style. I love that old fashioned vintage anime look and the music. Um, I like it more than anime these days, not to be like a hipster or anything, but I do. Um, it's just really cute, Asuka is. I, I, I think she's like, I, I like her suit, I love her outfit, her red hair, the red suit looks really good, I think. And um, her personality's funny. I like whenever she calls like people pervert, and like, it just, I think she's kind of like bitchy too, which is like really cute and funny. Um, I, I like her story. Um, when you watch the anime, it's like, holy shit, she's wow, that's dramatic, you know, and, like, it's pretty awful, but, um, I like that she's, I like her suit, I like her personality. Compared to, like, Ray, I think she has, like, more personality than Ray. Ray's kind of, like, the typical quiet Mary Sue random, like, I don't know. She, she's still really cool, Ray's outfit with the blue hair, pastel. Um, I just think Asuka's, like, iconic and really, really, really unique and likable. Um, but I started watching it when I was little, I remember seeing the anime, and I never understood it as I was little. I was just watching it, and I was like, I like that girl with long hair, because I thought she looked like me. And I just liked her, but I really didn't remember the anime that well, or liked it as a kid. I just would watch it. Um, but as I grew older and watched it, I'm like, wow, this is pretty badass, you know? And I love the opening theme. It's like my favorite part of the anime. I'm sure you guys love it too. It's like Japan's theme song, or something. <laughs> uh, it's really badass. Not really their theme song, but it kind of, it's look cool so um very very japanese um but yeah um i do enjoy some anime uh i haven't really gotten any, any new ones recently i've been kind of like too busy with like games and just my life in general but i know a lot of you guys are really into anime out there which is cool um i'm really picky like i said when it comes to anime like ghost and shell is my top favorite i love the major she's another latex girl i'm gonna be one day with the purple hair she's so cool major is probably my favorite anime character then asuka then this other character you might not know, her name's Deedlit from Record of Lotus War. Um, I'm gonna cosplay her one day because I love elves. Um, Asuka, like I said, is my second favorite girl because I grew up with her and I was just like, oh, she looks cool, I want to be her, and like, I like her personality, she's so iconic. And, yeah, I looked at her and I was just like, that's me, and then I looked at the blue-haired girl and I was like, that's my sister. <laughs> I have a twin sister. We're kind of opposite, though. She's like goth and, you know, darker, like bald and stuff, and I'm like, more like a girly girl, I guess, blonde, blue-eyed, and, you know, I like cute stuff, and she does too, but, like, we love cats and stuff, but she was gonna be Ray. I, she was like, I really want to get myself a latex Ray cosplay, because you look so cool in this, and, like, it looks really, like, good and, like, legit, so she's thinking about getting a white one, so if she does, I'll let you guys know, we'll take pictures and videos together, because we're both kind of cosplay twins, we both love to just cosplay together, um, she's really good at making stuff, she did a really good, like, Bloodhound from Apex, um, but yeah, She's a pretty good cosplayer. Hopefully she does Rei Ayanami. Even if it's not latex, I still want to take pictures with her because we're twins and that's us and stuff. Um, we just really connected with the characters because I like the one with long hair and she liked the one with short hair because she always had short hair and stuff. So we kind of felt like a connection to the characters and felt like that's us and let's be them. Now Shinji, um, a lot of people hate him. I don't like him either, but um, <laughs> idiot Shinji. 
Um, I was kind of hoping my boyfriend would be him because he has like dark hair and blue eyes. I was like, you should be him. Like, we can all be like a cosplay trio and take pictures together. And he, he says he's down. Maybe like, so when we get our cosplays together and we get together, we'll, I'll let you guys know. We'll take photo shoots and videos, have fun, whatever. Really looking forward to that. We were, I was actually going to wear this cosplay to um, my favorite convention in Michigan called Yumacon last year, but you know, COVID happened and all cons are now canceled. So yeah, gotta have my juice. My um, nerve fluid, whatever. I work at Nerve, so there you go. This is my plug suit. I feel like um, plug suits were really like inspired by Evangelion. Like so many characters had body suits and like called them plug suits afterwards. Cause like of Evangelion, cause it really like inspired a lot of mech animes. I never really got into mech animes, but Evangelion was like super cool. Actually, I I, I lied, cause like I used to watch Gundam, Gundam Seed, um, growing up, on Toonami. I used to watch Mega's XLR. I don't know if that's considered anime, but I used to love that. There's like a mech girl and like the guy and stuff. And so yeah, I I don't like mech animes. I think they're really cool. I watched one I think called Bloss Reader, Bloss Rider. I don't know how to say. It. I know I think it's, I think it's German, which you know I should know how to speak German because I'm I'm Oscar, She speaks German, which is really cool too. Actually, I have a lot of um, German background. My dad's dad's family was from Germany. My last name is German, so um, I like that too. But Oscar, because I I'm obsessed with like German like heritage and like history and like I used to be more so. Um, so I really like that too about her because she's German and. Both have German last names, so I really identify with that. I know a little bit German, but I'm not going to embarrass myself because I actually did study it and like took a class in college. Um, doesn't mean I'm fluent. I do not know that much, but because um, I'm American, I don't want to risk butchering a, a German phrase. So I'm not going to say anything. Do not ask. Um, I did want to learn German, though, so I feel like I like that about her, and we have like a connection there. You know, whenever it comes to cosplay, for me in general, I like to feel a connection to characters. Like, oh, I look like her, or I act like her, I like her, she, I want to be her, you know. Um, just growing up, I always liked being unique. I liked being, like, the center of attention, sort of, with, like, my clothes, my style. Not to be, like, one of those attention-seeking people, like, in a bad way. I just really like when eyes are on me, the showstopper. Like, oh, your cosplay's so cool, I want your picture, like, when I'm Samus. I'm the showstopper when I'm Samus, and, like, maybe with this on, too, I will be. We'll see. But yeah, as I was saying, like German, um, I used to watch this one anime called like um, Bloss Raider or Bloss Rider. I don't remember. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the title. Maybe you guys know about it. I, I'm sorry if I messed it up. It's been years since I've seen it, but I did watch that one. That was pretty good. Um, there was this one I wanted to watch and like used to be in like little anime magazines when I was like a teenager. It, it used to come on TV. Um, no, yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen it before. It used to come on TV on Toonami. It was like this girl... They were like racing mechs, and it was like this girl had like a cat named like Luca or something, Luca, and the girl had like kind of like dirty blonde hair, and she had a little cat ear helmet on, and she wore like a blue and white suit. I forget what it's called, but that one I really liked watching. Was it IGPX? Was it that one? Hold on, let me look it up. I'm actually on my computer right now, not looking up inflated Asuka cosplays, or was it IGPX? Yeah, it was um that one. Um, Immortal Grand Prix or something? Luca. Yep, I was right. The cat's name was Luca. And I, I always liked that that girl. She kind of looks like Asuka when I look at her now. Um, and what, what is her name? Amy? What's her name, Amy? Okay, so that was me with the little cat named Luca because I've always loved cats. And I'm obsessed with them. Yes, I have a kitty. Sure, a lot of you guys do too. Um, am I a crazy cat lady? Maybe I might be. I don't know. Um... I only have one cat, though, so probably not. But yeah, IGPX was another um, kind of mech anime I used to watch. I love that one. Love Luca and the, the girl. Um, wouldn't mind seeing that one again, but Evangelion was probably my first one besides Gundam. I don't remember which Gundam I used to watch. Maybe Gundam Seed? There's so many versions, I don't know. Sorry, I'm kind of, like, rusty when it comes to anime. I haven't watched it in, like, a while, but I'd be down to, like, watch some, I guess. Um... Probably my favorite animes are Ghost in the Shell is my number one always, um, Full Metal Alchemist, love it, me and my sister, were, we love the Elric Brothers, I was going to marry Alphonse when I was little, and that one's really sticks with me because I used to, like, that was like our life, we were obsessed with Full Metal Alchemist, like, we pretended like it was our life in real life, 
yeah, we were nerds. And um, I do not like Brotherhood. I know a lot of you like Brotherhood better. I'm just going to stop you. The original is always going to be better than Brotherhood. I'm sorry, but it is. Um, Brotherhood's art style, artwork is way worse than the original. The original is more badass and brutal. I'm just saying right now. Fight me. The next one probably Evangelion and then um, the Record of Lotus War because there's a character in there named, named Deedlet. She's an elf girl. And I really like her. And I love the art style because it's old. Um, um, but yeah, those are my favorite animes. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of newer ones because I just don't have don't want to get into them because I just don't care about them that much. Like I know My Hero Academia is really popular. I'm not really into that. I did used to like Attack on Titan, but I haven't finished it. It just sort of died. So it's still really good. I need to finish it, but it's getting kind of harder for me to just sit down and watch anime when I'm like trying to work on videos or cosplay stuff or just go online. I spend a lot of time on Reddit these days, so. Um, if you guys have read it, you can find me on there. I, I post a lot of latex stuff to, like, latex cosplay subreddit. But, yeah, if you guys want to go on Reddit, just look me up, Clapper's Never Master. Um, I'm on Reddit, so. I've kind of given up on Facebook, in case you guys haven't noticed. Um, I kind of deactivated it for a while because I always got, like, kind of, like, creepy dudes on there, like, wanting, like, just saying inappropriate things. I'm like, dudes, like, no, sorry. Like, you're not going to have me. Don't try. <laughs> Just like creepy comments, and I just got sick of Facebook. I, I really hate it, you guys. It's so, like, I hate just Facebook. It's broken, it's annoying, it's so full of ads, and ugh, I hate it. So if you're going to follow me, follow me on Instagram, Reddit. Um, that's kind of all I post to, really. Um, I don't know where else to go. I, I do have a DeviantArt. You probably could find me, honestly, but I'm not going to tell you my name. It's secret. You have to look me up. Search. But yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, sorry I talk a lot because I get really into, like, making videos. It's my passion. Um, hopefully you guys can notice the glowing light behind me. I try to make it look more, like, science-y and, like, science fiction and, like, I don't know, anime-ish with the glowing background. Um, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, also, sorry my arm's kind of messy. I'm still working on it. I'm still, I gotta hang up posters still. I just got my glass cabinet assembled so I can put all my figures away. Still working on it. So, get ready for another room tour when it's all done. I still want to put, like, lights in my ceiling and stuff. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm sure you guys don't care about the bedroom. I'm sure you guys are more fixated on the suit. But yeah, it's rubber, latex. It's really shiny. I love it. Um, oh, um, so I don't have gloves on because, um, I was going to wear my, my black short ones, but, um, underneath the suit. But I realized it'll be too hard to touch, like, my food because I ate dinner and, like, I've been wearing this thing all day. And to handle the camera, I didn't want to risk dropping it, so... Oh well. Just pretend like my hands are red and black. <laughs> like that. Just pretend. Um, I am wearing socks with it, black ones. I wear like my little red heels with it for like a while, but I'm like... I can't walk in these all day. If I go to a con, it has to be like little black flats or something or red. So I'll probably do that. Wear like little black shiny little flats. And um... Yeah. Oh yeah, the hair clips I'm wearing. Uh, these are 3D printed. As you can see, they're not, like, sanded, but I got them on Etsy. They're kind of, like, fit me funny. But, yeah, they're really cute and cool. Um, my natural hair color is growing out. It's, like, a dark blonde, as you can see. It's kind of greasy. I'm sorry. I haven't washed my hair in, like, three days. I use dry shampoo, but um, sometimes my hair doesn't like to take it very well. I'm going to wash my hair tonight, though. Don't worry. I'm not disgusting or anything. But... My hair looks really yucky right now because it's full of, it's got lube all over it, so I apologize if it looks really gross. I'm going to get a wig, don't worry, like I said. Um, I just worry the wig will get pulled off by, like, the lube, because it sticks. Like, this stuff's really thick and gooey, so, yeah. But, oh well. I mean, like I said, to me, Asuka looks kind of blonde sometimes, so I thought, whatever, my natural hair color looks, whatever, it's a mix. I know she has red hair, but be patient, I will get a wig one of these days when I go to a con, really nice one. Um, but yeah. I was thinking about getting a red wig with, like, bangs and, like, pulling back for, like, because I was actually going to plan on cosplaying Sam from Totally Spies. She has red hair as well, and I thought, like, oh, I could, like, re use the wig over again, like, recycle it, because I'm kind of cheap and I hate wigs, so I'm like, if I have to get one, it has to be a really nice red one, and I'm only going to get one, so, because I don't want to keep buying wigs. I don't want to buy wigs for each little character, you know what I mean? So if I can use my natural hair, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to re-dye this, though. Like, I'm going to have it all dyed blonde. Um, probably, I was actually going to go for, like, a cheddar blonde. Like, a almost a strawberry blonde, because I want, like, something vibrant and cute. 
So yeah, maybe I could wear that. Um, but just be patient. I'm actually getting my hair dyed again in May before the summer. So I'm going to tell them make it like a cheddar blonde this time, not so much like a white ash color. Um, it's beautiful, but I prefer like more like a golden Zelda blonde or something from Breath of the Wild. Because I think it looks good like on my skin tone and stuff. But yeah, I'm um, sorry. I go on a lot about things. Um, I thought it was cute because I did see a picture of Asuka wearing, holding like a pop can, so... Whatever, sorry. Yes, I'm trying to be cute, but not too cute. Um, but yeah. Oh, this is just my comb. My newest comb I got. Sorry if you see it. Detangling comb. But yeah, this is my suit. Thought you guys would love it. I'm really excited to show it off. It cost me a lot, and I just... It takes a lot of effort to wear, so I wear it for a long time. And I actually have to pee, like, really bad right now, but I do not have a crotch as a person. I'm just holding it till I'm done talking to you guys. But yeah. Um... I am an anime person too. Not too big on anime. I did grow up with it. Like I like Sailor Moon. I like older stuff, preferably. Uh, Blood, um, uh, Blood, The Last Vampire, like the Blood Plus one. That was a really good one for like Halloween. Cowboy Bebop. I forgot to add Cowboy Bebop. I swear to God, that's one of my favorite animes because you know why. It's classic. It's beautiful. I'm so sorry I forgot to add that. That is like one of my favorites too. So Ghost in the Shell, Full Metal Alchemist. Cowboy Bebop, Evangelion, and Record of Lotus War are my top favorites. So, sorry I left it out. I know it's like a classic. I'm sorry. So yeah, Bebop is one of my favorites. Um, I like Julia. Cosplay her. Um, I was actually going to make a video of that cosplay. I didn't make it yet, but I have it filmed and stuff. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I know you guys like anime out there too. Like, what are your favorites and stuff? Like, I love nerd stuff, so... um. I tend to like more serious, darker animes, so like, I can get into them more. If they're, like, too bright and cutesy and fan y and funny, I just kind of like cringe. Um, kind of why I didn't like Brotherhood as much as the original, because it kind of had, like, moments where I'm like, this is too positive. I need darkness. I don't know. <laughs> no. I mean, like, I know good moments are good, but, yeah. I kind of like, like, good artwork, like, Ghost in Shell has some of the most best animation I've seen. I, I need to still watch the new version of Rise. Um, that one's not really that good, I don't think. I don't like the new Major, how she looks. She looks too young. I kind of like a more mature, like, sexy, like, older Major looking, like, more feminine. Like, you know, more womanly, more mature. Um, they made her look like she's, like, 12 in the new version, which I hate. Her outfit's cute, but I don't like the new Major. I did like the live action. That was a pretty good movie. Um, honestly, it was one of the best well-made anime movies I've seen. Um... That's just my opinion. I think Scar Jo did pretty good. I actually like her as an actress. She's she's cool. Um, but yeah. Well, maybe a lot of you guys didn't like the movie. I totally understand. You have your reasons. I get it. You know, I'm open to anything. But yeah, Evangelion's a really cool anime. I love, like I said, the opening theme. It's my favorite. Like I love how they don't change it. It's really it's really cool. Um, I still haven't seen the newer Evangelion uh, animes, but I did see the movies on Netflix. Um, there was like a few short clip movies or something. And they're pretty cool, and I just love Asuka. The anime's funny. Um, I like the ending where she was like taking out that last like angel thing, like the one of the bad guys, and she just like just went nuts. I love that. She just went ballistic. I love that when characters, anime characters, lose like their minds and they just start like going crazy. It's really cool. <laughs> water, gotta keep hydrated. Actually, I probably should stop drinking water because I have to pee so bad. I'm getting like goosebumps underneath this suit. So um, yeah. Hope you guys like my suit and everything, the cute little hair clips. I will get a wig, don't worry. I guess I might as well get, uh, show you the suit and stuff. I'll do, like, a better high-quality model of it later, like, if you watch my videos and stuff. But, yeah, let me show you guys the suit more. Here it is. Red goodness. Sorry, I really don't have a lot of room to move. There's some red, some orange, my green, my blue. Oh, sorry, I've got a pimple. Ignore that. Black. Shoulder zippers blend pretty well. So there's some of the mech parts. Tech, or plug, I mean, plug parts. It's pretty um spot on. Hold on, let me turn around. My hair is everywhere, I'm so sorry. There's the orange part. Ugh. Oops. Sorry, I need to move things around. Oof. Sorry, I had to move stuff. 
Here's the suit. Just just a quick showing of it. Because I always do this. But yeah. Cute shiny orange redness. Signature pose. Oh, my hair's so stuck to it. Let me just move this out of the way. Sorry, I had to move my ring light. I think the suit fits pretty well. I know I get a lot of comments from you guys saying that my suits aren't tight enough. And I feel really bad because I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't make them, but, you know, they're not, I don't like them too tight because I can't move. I know you guys, I know they're supposed to be second skin, but I don't like them way too tight because then I can't, like, move and they leave marks on me, so. I think this one fits really good. Signature pose. Signature poses. But yeah, um, I am, like I said, not wearing gloves, but I am wearing socks underneath the suit. So like, you know, it looks like my feet are black like hers. I probably, like I said, get like black flats over the suit. But yeah, just wait till I get the red hair. Makeup wise, I tried doing like more natural, like big, like eyeliner, like big black lashes and kind of like natural looking, not over the top makeup. I don't want to look fake, you know, like trying too hard or something. Not that there's anything wrong with doing heavy makeup, I just uh, don't like it for her character. I think she looks more natural. She's only 14, so I don't think she'd have access to too much makeup and she's kind of too busy wearing mechs, like fighting. But yeah, hope you guys like the suit. I think it fits me really good. There's my butt. Shiny. Cute. You know. But yeah, it fits really good. A little difficult to get on, but you know, they should be because they're rubber. But yeah. Um... So I hope you guys like that little model for you. I'm trying to show off the suit really well. Like I said, the back is kind of, um, uh, you know. And my hair is, my hair is like stuck to it, so. So yeah. My ring light's like right behind me. So yeah, I hope you guys like that quick modeling, um, and like the cool light up background. I wanted to make it look glowy and anime-ish. My room is almost complete, like I'm almost done fixing it up, so when I do that, I'll probably wear the Zero Suit and show off my Metroid room to you guys. Um, oh, by the way, I actually do have a little Asuka figure. <laughs> it was like really cheap and a gift for my sister, because we were obsessed with Evangelion. But yeah, it's just a cute little Asuka figure. I know we're twins. She's really cute. It kind of gave me a good like model of like the suit, and I looked up pictures of Asuka and videos of her before I put on the cosplay. Just to kind of get into character, and I listened to the theme song and jammed a little bit. But yeah, there's the cute little figure. Sorry, I won't really focus on her. There it is. She's really cute. Just a cheap little one. Um, maybe I'll get the, I think it was a Figma of her. Maybe I can get it. Um, she came with a little machine gun, too. <laughs> she has, like, a little gun. I don't know why. I don't know when she uses machine guns, but whatever. Still badass. So yeah, there she is. She, she has, like, little black flats on, like little red feet. Just like flat shoes. I'm not a fan of heels, so um, if you like big heels and stuff, I'm probably not going to wear those. My, my, my health and my ankles are more important to me than being sexy in heels, so <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not going to wear them. So yeah, um, like I said, sorry my hair is kind of gross. The lube is getting everywhere. and 
making my hair really sticky. That's, you know, what you just have to do when it comes to latex. But yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, of me dressed as Asuka Langley. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the suit and stuff like that. I had a lot of fun wearing this for you, filming, and just having fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's just for fun. I'm not like professional cosplay or anything. I just, I'm working on it. Um, but yeah, it's just all about having fun and embracing your nerdiness and having fun. It's the character, like I said. See ya. Oh yeah, and by the way, I hope to, I'm going to get the bracelets one day. The actual 3D like bracelets, big chunky bangles that she wears and wear them with the suit and stuff. So yeah. I know my suit's not perfect 100%, but it's hard to be perfect and be affordable at the same time. Like I know some people have like actual armor right here. Mine's just latex. Some people actually have actual like armored pieces on, but I don't. I don't really care about that much. I just, I'd rather have like the latex be skin tight, shiny, and pretty as possible, but... You know, her suit's so tight it's hard to tell what she's wearing, but yeah. So, I will wear more of this Asuka suit for you later. I plan to make a video of me modeling it for you guys, having fun. Maybe I'll put the Evangelion song in there, just to have fun with it. But yeah, like I said, um, hope you guys enjoy this video of my suit. And um, I will see you guys next mission.